Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I have a really fun project for Click Kits International. This is my design team project. And I am going to be showing you how to make a quick mini album. And I'm talking really quick with one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. We're also going to do some embellishing and we'll have a finished little mini album at the end of the video. I will link everything I've used in the description box below. And in case I forget anything, uh, just check the description box or my blog. Uh, I will be posting everything there as well. So you can see it's uh, it's about a six by six. And that's what I love about this easy project because we will be using up every little piece of our 12 by 12 paper and then any embellishments that you have. I'm actually using a couple of the kits that I received in my design package from Click Kits. And like I said, I will link those below. So the first thing you'll see here, it's got the tiny little pocket and there's a little ephemera piece here. And then there's another pocket behind it. And this one is a little flip. I love adding like little flips and you know, any secret tucks to my pieces. These are from Pink Fresh Studio. And if you want to see everything that's in the kits, I do, I have the unboxing video and I will link that below. But if not, I will just link the kits that I used as well that you can check them out. So I wanted this to be like a really nice summer feel of a little mini album where I could add photos if I wanted to or like ephemera from maybe a day trip that we we have done together with the family. Summer is sort of coming to an end. Back to school time is here. So I thought this would be such a perfect little mini album to just put together if I wanted to add like a little, you know, something that we've done for the end of the summer. All the pieces are in the kits that I've received. I think there's maybe only one item or two here that are not part of the kit. So I ended up taking a lot of the ephemera pieces and then just adding them, um, you know, as little journaling cards and journaling spots. And then what I showed you in the back here is like, you can actually add an entire photo back here if you wanted to. And then here, there's another spot that I left for um, maybe a smaller, picture if I wanted to add that as well. So of course you can make this your own. I'm going to show you how to put this together. I really love how quickly it comes together. And you also have such um, a variety of ways that you can make it yourself. Once you see how easy it is, you're going to love it. I used uh, one of the, um, the papers that I received in the kit. And I, I've said this in the previous video, I absolutely love these papers. They are such great quality. I'm so happy that I get to, um, to use them and show you a little bit. So this one, the, the little doily I used from the kit and also these beautiful flowers. Oh my goodness. Um, the paper, as I mentioned, came from that collection that I had the unboxing for before. And these are some of the ephemera pieces in that collection as well. So let's get started. I'll show you how to make it and we'll decorate one as well. The first thing, of course, is you'll grab your 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now, I always make this suggestion. If it's the first time that you're working on something like this, get a piece of 12 by 12 that you're not too excited about. And if you happen to make a boo-boo, then it's okay. Um, I'm using non-directional paper, so that means that any which way I turn it, it's fine. There's no up or down or sideways, right? <clears throat> I find that that's the best way to, to do this. So you'll, you'll take your 12 by 12 and you'll cut it in half. And then our first um, six by 12, we're going to score that in half. And this will become the base for our mini album. Now this could also be an ephemera holder. It is perfect for flat mail. So if you wanted to send something in the mail that's nice and flat and you can still load it up with a bunch of pieces. If you keep your decorating on the cover fairly flat, then it won't cost that much to send. Okay, so your first piece, you end up with a six by six, like little kind of folio. You'll take your next six by 12 and you'll cut this one in half. Okay, now you can do this just by folding it and then kind of cutting it and tearing it apart. Or you could use a, you know, a um, cutting board like I do. So your first piece, you're, you'll score it anywhere really, but I'm scoring it here at um, one and a half inches. I, again, I will leave the measurements below in case I mess them up because I usually do if I'm tr trying to do the voiceover and then trying to give you measurements. The next piece, we're going to cut this in half. 
it doesn't matter which way again, just in half. So you end up with a three by six. Okay, you'll end up with two of those. Put those aside for now. We'll go back to our first piece that we folded. We'll take our cover and then you decide what's your cover, like the front of your cover, and then what's going to be the inside of your little album. And once, once you figure that out, then it'll be easier to start piecing things together. So the piece that we scored, okay, this is our scored part. So the shortest part, we are going to add it to the inside of our album. I'm putting it on this side. You could add it on the other side. You could add, add it as a flip up or a flip down. This is where you get creative. I'm just showing you the basics of putting this together and then you get to do your own. So I'm going to uh, put glue on the one side and I just, I'm noticing that I didn't cut this properly. So I left a little bit of that barcode on the top and I guess that's why the size is a little off. So just be careful when you're measuring, but with something like this, it really doesn't matter. It's quite forgiving also. So I'm trying to decide where I want my flap to be, what I want the inside to be, where I want the outside to go. I've decided that I'm gluing this part of my fold down as you can see and I'm only going to glue on three sides of it because I want to leave one part as like a little center tuck spot like a little pocket so here's where we just add the one piece our little folded piece to the back of our cover and that's the first fold that we make you'll see how super fun this is to make. Now, if you haven't seen my one page wonder projects, I have an entire playlist of different ideas of things that you can make with one page, either the 12 by 12 or the eight and a half by 11 sheets. And I will link that playlist below. I also have this exact same project, but made with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And I will link that below in case you wanna get an idea on how I put that one together. All right, so I'm taking my next um, three by six here. And again, I'm just going to score it this time. I'm just scoring it on, on the one inch. It doesn't matter which side. So I'm just scoring it at one inch. And then this is going to become the little flap that I will be gluing onto my cover. But before I do this, I decided that instead of making this just like a flap, so like something that just, you know, folds over, this is where I decided I would make a little pocket. So all I'm doing is folding the one piece over and making sure that I don't reach my score line so that um, I can attach my score, my scored piece of paper there, the small part to my album and you'll see what I mean. So see how I just folded it over just before that score line and this is going to become my little pocket and then it'll flip over this way. I thought about adding like a little what do they call that thumb notch um, to it but what I'm doing instead is I'm, I'm only going to glue it to two sides and this way it becomes like a little tuck spot and not a full pocket so if I wanted to get like a a larger piece in there I could and I'm not limited by you know gluing all sides down I hope you know what I mean by that all right so this is how we are going to be attaching our little pocket that flips over and again, I'm just deciding which side I want it on. And so I think I'm going to leave a little bit, um, like a little piece open so that I can tuck a larger piece in the back. So you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to glue two sides. So the longer side and the bottom shorter side. And then this way I leave myself room to tuck something large enough to fit on this side of my six by six. And I'm not really limited to like a tiny pocket. Hope that makes sense. You'll see more when we kind of add our, um, you know, our decorations and our journaling cards, etc. All right. So we take our next piece, which is the, um, the other six by three. And this one I'm going to be gluing a pocket on but then I decide I want to make a little flap to make a pocket on the top and you'll see what I mean in a minute so I'm just kind of measuring where I need to do my score line and I decide that I'm going to make like almost like a one and a half inch little kind of pocket and you'll see what I mean in a minute and this is where I'm um, I'm saying that 
you can make this however you want once you see how easy it is to put it together now that i'm looking at it i should have flipped it the other way and kind of made the the pocket slash tuck spot on the other side but that's okay it still looks good i like the way it turned out i'm only going to be adding glue again to the bottom part of that little pocket you'll see what i mean in a minute and then here i am gluing three sides down to make the larger pocket so I've added glue to three parts or three sides of it here. And then the little flap you see there, I just added glue to the bottom of the flap because again, I want that to be a tuck spot and not necessarily like a full pocket. This way I can add some something larger to it. So far, that's it my friends. We've used up every little piece of our 12 by 12 and we've made a nice little album with some fold out pockets, some tuck spots, another little tuck pocket and then another little area there where we can tuck some photos now all that's left is to decorate it this is the fun part okay so I have a few pieces that I have pulled out of the kit um, and again it's just some of the journaling cards some of the ephemera that came in my um, couple different kits that I received I will link them all below but I, like I said I wanted this to be very summery so I thought I would add a lot of the summer themed ephemera with it and then I'm using a lot of the little um, ephemera from this uh, pink fresh studio line I really really like it so I'm using some of the tags and some of the journaling cards just you know to add a little bit of journaling later on if I wanted to this one looks like a little label it says loved this day so this would be perfect if I want to write something on it maybe a date something we're always having in the summer I need to, you know, um, put this in there because we're always having some sort of ice cream or some sort of cool treat. And that's something that um, that we all love so much. And then, of course, there's a lot of shopping, especially now getting back to school. That's actually one of my favorite times. It's always been my favorite time back to school shopping. And I am very lucky to say and very happy to say that my kids love it as well. So it's really fun for us to do back to school shopping. My husband not so much he says he kind of always disliked this time of year but the kids and I love it we've always loved going to pick up our you know our pieces of um of items for the new year I this is where I stock up on glue this is where I stock up on paper you know anything that I need that's like office related pens um I have such a stash of markers my friends oh my goodness anyway so you'll see me here just kind of adding different pieces of ephemera this one I think I'm going to make it yet another little um, tuck spot on this um, fold out of the mini album um, I think it would be perfect to also leave um, one of the sides open so that I can you know put something a little bit larger if I wanted to on this little fold out and if I'm making some of these to send to friends I think it would be so perfect to just load it up with different ephemera pieces maybe you could do themed pieces as well and imagine like for a birthday you could send this all like birthday themed for a friend I know a lot of people also call these like um, cards that are interactive so there's just so many different names that you can call something it's just it really all depends on what you use it for right okay so as I'm still loading up the different things that um, I'm, you know, I could add to this, I think we're going to do a little bit more um, decorating maybe on the cover. So we'll probably start that now. I've picked a couple of doilies because I sort of wanted to tone down the colorful flowers, even though I love them. Um, I think the doilies are just going to kind of bring the focus a little bit more to what I want in the center there and then this gorgeous color of doily I love it so much I'm just adding that to the top of it so that it can stand out you know from the background of the flowers because I'm putting it on top of the um, the lighter color doily like the white one and then um, I'm just removing something because I feel like there's that little bump from the tag so once I do that then I get to decorating all of a sudden I wanted to say I like the last couple days I received all my packages and I'm talking about like eight different packages arrived within two days and I don't know what was happening I think my post office was just kind of hoarding them and decided to wait until such time that they could bring them all together but I have so many unboxings that I was supposed to do and I like to pace myself 
and at this point they've left me almost no choice because everything came in at once so I'm going to try and do my unboxings with the project ideas that I have for things so many amazing new products that I um that I'm receiving right now and I think it's because of again the summer season almost coming to an end for us but also back to school starting there's just so many new items out there right so I'll be showing you some of those I'm also going to be showing you um, the mail that comes in for my uh, birthday challenge giveaway um, I can't wait to show you those okay so you see here I just added a couple of pieces of ephemera I'm just working with the kits that I have from Quick Kits but I thought I wanted to add a little bit of bling and I remember these beautiful flowers from Bow Bunny I have never seen these before so I'm so excited to use them and I like that there's like this iridescence um, kind of shine to them so I'll be using a couple of those just to kind of you know give a little bling to the cover because I always like to do that um, that's going to be it once I finish decorating I don't think I add anything else to this um, I will definitely be sharing more if i make any more that are going out in snail mail i just i always like to see the way that things are decorated and how different they are decorated that always inspires me so i don't know if you're the same if you enjoy seeing the different ways that people like embellish or decorate something even if it's something that you know you've made many times it always feels a little different and exciting when someone else has done their own version of it and truly that inspires me so i think that's why i'm so looking forward to my birthday challenge entries so that everyone gets a little bit of inspiration with things that are coming in and the different things that um, people are making i'm so excited about it so i think that's it my friends links to everything i've shown you will be in the description box below and on my blog i hope you found this fun make some tag me if you do i would love to see it and uh, thanks so much for joining me today i'll see you next time thanks so much for stopping by